it's a very humbling sight, but also a very comforting one to see so many friends gathered here with us today. And there are gatherings like this all around the world because in many ways what happened on September 11th unified and over these last 10 years because of other tragic similar events continues to unify so many of us as we face this threat. On September 11th, 2001, the world changed forever. Nearly 3,000 people from more than 90 different nations were brutally murdered on that day. Their mothers and fathers, their brothers and sisters, their sons and daughters, wives, husbands and friends, all confronted losses that day that they still bear on this day and will bear forever. I was in the Middle East on September 11th, 2001, a part of the world where I grew up, where I spent the great majority of my adult and professional life, and a part of the world that I love very dearly. Like all of you and so many others, I will never forget that day. I happened to be the duty officer at the American Embassy in Muscat, Oman. I remember receiving a call at midnight on our 24-hour duty phone. On the other end of the line was the voice of an Omani man. It was breaking. He was crying. Through his tears, he kept saying, I am so sorry. I am so, so sorry. To this day, as I think about the depth of the sincerity in his voice, I am still moved. His heart was breaking, and he spoke not as an Omani or a Middle Easterner, or as an Arab or a Muslim. He spoke as a human being grieving for the terrible tragedy that had befallen his fellow human beings. From Bali to Beslan, from Athens to Amman, from Kigali to Kampala, from Mumbai to Manila, and from Lahore to London, yes, and even from Stockholm to Oslo, we have all witnessed the resilience and solidarity of human beings in the face of evil. Terrorism will not prevail. It has no religion. It has no country. It has no justification. And it has no future. In the Middle East, for example, when people of so many countries are now demanding and delivering political change, the false prophets of terror are nowhere to be seen. Their ideologies have been ignored and scorned openly by the young people who will determine the future of their own societies. Worldwide, terrorists have failed to achieve their goals. Individuals, communities, and nations have shown that they are stronger than, than their fear. We In the evening, weakening light, the last swallows, a boy on a lake lifts his oars. A woman by a window puts a match to a candle. And the names are outlined on the rose clouds. Vanacore and Wallace. Let X stand, if it can, for the ones unfound. Then Young and Zeminski, the final jolt of Z. Names etched on the head of a pin. Names wheeled into the dim warehouse of memory. So many names, there is barely room on the walls of the heart. All over the world, this day of commemorating the 10th anniversary of 9-11 is a day of sorrow, but also a day of resistance. We live in a global world. We can travel from continent to continent. 
Ideas and thoughts can be passed on a lightning speed. We have fantastic <coughs> possibilities. But as we have learned the hard way, freedom can be misused. Every terrorist attack is a reminder that we have to be vigilant against those who despise the values that we take for granted. We have seen this with terrifying clarity at 9-11 and more recently and frightening close to us in Sweden, in Oslo and at Utøya, Norway. Our two countries, the United States and Sweden, share fundamental values and a strong belief in democracy and freedom. We will continue to work for these fundamental ideas, strong international cooperation and security for our citizens. The terrorist attacks did not have and will not have the effects terrorists aim for. That is the best way to remember and honor the victims of September 11th, 2001 and of terrorist attacks all over the world. We thought about how we create peace in our own lives, and we also want you to take these questions home with you. When do you feel safe and peaceful? When do you feel true to yourself and satisfied with yourself? When do you feel oneness with people you know? When do you feel oneness with people you don't know? What is your dream? Peace begins with you. you. <laughs> Can't see nothing in front of me. Can't see nothing coming up behind. I make my way through this darkness. Can't feel nothing but this chain that binds me. Lost track of how far I've gone, how far I've gone, how high I climb. On my back's a 60 pound stone, on my shoulder, a half my life. house this morning bells ringing fill the air I was wearing the cross on my calling on wheels of fire I come rolling down here come on up for the ride 